Hello and welcome to Rathod's IS. Today in this session, we are going to see current affairs of 5th October 2023. So what are the current affairs we are going to discuss in this session that will be important from your UPSC and from your state service examination point of view as well. And if you are preparing for any competitive examination, current affairs plays a very important role. So you need to be updated with the current affairs. Okay, and if you want to get the notes of this class, you can join the Telegram channel. Link is given in the description box. Okay, so let us see the articles in our first page. As usual, we are going to point out the important articles which are present in our newspaper. And we are going to see the perspectives in which you have to think so that you can generate this thought a process. And after that, we are going to see the detailed analysis of those topics. Is this clear? So first topic it is about seven dead, seven dead as glacial lake burst in Sikkim. So this article which is talking about glacial lake outburst flood. So this article is talking about this glacial lake outburst flood. So in the recent years, there is high chance, there is increased frequency of this glacial lake outburst flood. So why? Because normally whenever we have glaciers, so glaciers will be melting. So melting of glaciers is happening. Why? Because of climate change, because of global warming, because of uh, even black carbon deposition, etc. So these are some important reasons which are leading to the melting of this glaciers. And after this glaciers is meeting, so if there are any depressions are there, then this depression water will be filled. Correct? So they are forming glacial lakes. They are forming glacial lakes. So glacial lakes which will be having like boundaries like this. So whenever there is increased water level, that will cause the pressure on the sidewards. So because of this suddenly breaking is happening, that will lead to this glacial outburst. Okay, so this is the concept that you have to know about this glacial lake outburst flood. And actually here this article said about South Lohank Lake. So the name of that glacial lake is South Lohank Lake suddenly overflowed into Tista River. So here you have to know about this Tista River and actually this Tista River dispute which has not been settlement uh, or settled between India and Bangladesh. Okay, India and Bangladesh we have issue that is water sharing issue uh, regarding this Tista water but it has not been resolved. And here you have to know about some facts regarding this Tista river like where it has been originated so which are the tributaries so between which states it is flowing and whether it is flowing between India and Bangladesh or not so all these things that you have to know and the facts regarding this Tista water that you have to do and that that is your homework and please let me know in the comment box and next topic it is about LPG subsidy for Ujwala beneficiaries rise it to 300 rupees so earlier we started an article that yes, government is providing 200 rupees of subsidy for this Ujwala beneficiaries and now this 200 increased to 300. So here you have to see about some facts regarding this PM Ujwala scheme and who are beneficiaries under this scheme because there is a high chance of getting question regarding this PM Ujwala scheme in your prelims. And next topic is about Nobel Prize in the field of chemistry. Here in the field of chemistry also three persons, Maguni Bavendi, Louis Bruce and Alexei Ekimov. So they won this chemistry Nobel Prize 2023 and they studied this quantum dots. So here you have to focus on especially what is this quantum dots and applications of this quantum dots. Clear? So this is about our first page. And if you move on in the state space, there is one important article that is about Lakshwadeep MP disqualified for second time. So we are not bothering about who, why, everything. 
but in our constitution where this disqualification is written that we have to see and even if there are any acts which talking about this disqualification of member of parliament or not if yes what are there okay so those things are very important and this is important from your polity this comes under your gs paper 2 clear and now let us move on so in this space there is nothing much important and most of the articles are political articles so reading political articles will not fetch you anything it will be waste of your time so leave them simply and in this editorial page there is one article regarding this UAPA that is unlawful activities prevention act so already we discussed this topic in our yesterday's lecture that here news click okay so now government said that news click person is arrested under this unlawful activities prevention act so in this context you have to know what is unlawful activities okay so who will define that so what will comes under that unlawful activities that thing that you have to know nothing more and next topic is about retribution for the south accolade for the north so here you have to see like different states of our country so this part which comes in the north and this part which comes in the south so if you are comparing southern states with northern states southern states are doing very much good for example in field of education in field of health and even field of social indicators and also in the field of population control so here we are talking about delimitation of constituencies that is redrawing the boundaries of this constituencies so we have to do that based on the census but 2021 census has been delayed and even we didn't start this census program red collection of data so here this article says that yes article 81 of indian constitution says that we can go for redrawing of constituent assembly uh, legislative constituencies or lok sabha constituencies in the country and that should be equal by the size of population so as of now we are taking 1971 census but we are trying to take up this 2021 census so that we can draw the boundaries but here recently our home minister also said that we are going to start this census after once this year general elections in 2024 has been done that means here by the next 2026 also we are not going to get the data of this census so it will be delayed so this is the article right so now let us try to see the next important articles so here you can see there is one article it is regarding the physics nobel prize so in yesterday's class we discussed that and its opinion page there is one article that is about women's quota panchayats to parliament so this article is talking about reservation for women's reservation for women So if you are talking about panchayats and municipalities, we came up with the 73rd and 74th Constitutional Amendment Act which talks about one third reservation for women and in the same way recently bill, women reservation bill, recently women reservation bill had been passed and also got assent from our president and in that bill we are also talking about one third reservation of seats for women in Lok Sabha and as well as state legislative assembly okay so this is the idea of this article so it will be now 106th amendment constitutional amendment act which talks about one third seats which will be reserved for Lok Sabha and as well as state legislative assembly for women okay so this is about this and here you have to see what will be the advantages of reservation for women and what are the challenges so already number of times we discussed this topic right 
So this is the overview. And if you move on in this text and context, there is nothing much important. So we discussed about that Bihar caste survey topic. So as a recently government of Bihar released this Bihar caste based survey 2022. And this survey says that extremely backward classes are there with 112 caste and they comprise the largest chunk of population in the state and they are comprising about 36 percentage of share. And according to the experts on the field, survey report would definitely force political parties to announce and to initiate more welfare schemes for this poor and marginalized sections of society. So whenever we are having this type of data, then only her opposition party will be pressurizing this ruling party so that her ruling party can come up with the new schemes for the upliftment of this extremely backward classes. So this is the idea of this article, that's it. There is no need of remembering of each and every point like, so how much percentage of STs are there, how much percentage of STs are there, so it is not much relevant. And if you move on, in this new space there is again article regarding UAPA. So first of all let us try to see the detailed analysis of those topics that we had discussed and later on once again we will come back to this paper. Okay, so first topic it is about glacial lake outburst flood, right? So this topic is important from your GS paper 3 under environment and ecology and even it can be studied under disaster management as well. So these two topics like environment and ecology disaster management so that will be important from your means. So what happened? Why it is in news? At least seven people they were killed and many of them were injured and many of them are missed in this missed in this flash floods inundated Sikkim. So what happened? Flash floods happened in Sikkim because of this glacial lake outburst. And in that about 7 people they died and many of them injured and they are missing. So the floods are believed to have been triggered after a lake forming from the gradual melting of Himalayan glacier. So we have glacier and whenever these glaciers are melting what happens ice will be converted into water. And this water will be settled in depressions. And they will form this glacial lake. So whenever there is increased water, so that will lead to outburst. Okay, the floods are believed to have been triggered after a lake from a former from a gradual melting of glacier, which has been suddenly overflowed and uh, inundated this Tista River basin. So if you see some important details. So because of this outburst, so it already destroyed this Chung Tang Dam. So it is a very important dam in the state. Okay, so because it is one of the largest hydroelectricity project, which has been washed away highways, villages, and as well as towns now. So let me know what is the feasibility. What is the feasibility of construction of dams? In ecologically sensitive area. So as you all know that this Himalayan regions they are tectonically active and they are instable. Whenever we are going for the development projects in this area that will be having this type of negative impacts. So please try to think what is the feasibility of construction of this hydropower projects or dams in this extremely sensitive regions. And actually there are many districts which had been worsely affected that is Mangan, Gangtok, Pakyong and Namchi and 22 army people they are missing. And if you see some facts regarding this glacial lake outburst flood, it is a type of catastrophic flood. It is a type of catastrophic flood and that occurs when dam containing glacial lake fails and that will release a large amount of water, large volume of water. 
so this type of flood is typically caused by rapid melting of glaciers or build up of water in the lake due to heavy rainfall so whenever there is heavy rainfall is happening or whenever there is a fast pace of melting of glaciers that will leads to the good inflow of water into the lake in february 2021 chamoli district in uttarakhand but uh, witnessed this flash floods right in the same way now again in sikkim it has been experiencing this flash floods so what are the causes so there are number of causes which are causing this glacial lake outburst flood so first one is melting of glacier or volume of glacier and whenever there is changing of water level in the lake which also leads to this type of incidents and even when there is an earthquake so according to nmda that is national disaster management authority glacial retreat it is mainly happening because of climate change so glacial retreat is nothing but so for example this is glacier and this is size of the glacier earlier but now the size of the glacier is decreasing that is called as this glacial retreat i hope you understand the concept so because of this glacial retreating retreating happens because of climate change because of increasing of global warming because of increasing of heat then what happened there is melting of ice will be at a faster pace okay so this is the one important reason for this glacial retreat so according to national disaster management authority it said that glacial retreat which is mainly because of climate change and it is occurring in the most parts of hindu kush himalayas and they are giving to the formation of new glacial lakes okay so this is an important reason for this glacial lake outburst floods so this is about this topic and now let us see next topic it is about lpg subsidy for ujwala beneficiaries raised to 300 rupees so this article is important from gs paper 2 under schemes policies and programs of government so this comes in our part of governance okay so every year you can expect questions regarding the schemes in your prelims also so here you have to know some basic facts regarding this pm ujwala okay so that you can answer the questions regarding this question in your prelims so now let us try to see actually you know that here we are going to have assembly elections in five states so because of this now our union cabinet said that we are going to increase subsidy on this lpg cylinders under this ujwala schemes to 2 uh, 300 rupees earlier it announced that we are going to give you subsidy of 200 rupees and now it again increased 100 rupees so if you see details it says that a 14.2 kg cylinder that is a domestic cylinder we are using under this ujwala scheme so it mainly provides free cooking gas connections to poor women and now the cost here is around 603 rupees now after applying this subsidy so the decision is expected to be benefit about 9.6 crore families as well so now let us try to see some facts regarding this pm ujwala yojana so our government of india came up with this scheme in year 2016 and under this scheme we are focusing on providing of this lpg that is liquefied petroleum gas connections to poor households and during this ujwala 1.0 so it is the first phase launched in 2016 So at that time, the target was to provide LPG connections to five crore people. Okay, and in two point zero, we are focusing on even migrants. Okay, so migrants they can also get the cylinders under this scheme. So if they are submitting ration cards or other cards proof, and even self declaration for both, uh, self declaration as well as family declaration as well. So then they will be getting the advantage of this PM Ujwala scheme. So, what is the criteria? Who can get this benefits? So, first one is under this scheme initially, the applicant had to be a woman belonging to this below poverty line. So, women should be below poverty line, and the households of applicant should not have any LPG connections. So, earlier if you are having LPG connections means so why you need to get benefit from government? There is no need, right? So, you should not have any LPG connection in your name. 
okay any in, in your family's name family members name or on your name etc and this one is the scheme was expanded in april 2018 and we came up with including of women beneficiaries from seven more categories so first it said that bpl and later on we came with a uh, increasing of ambit like sc and st and pm ay ay and most backward classes tea garden workers forest dwellers and islands so in all these things they had been included under this pm ujwala yojana and monthly household income of a bpl plan family should not exceed certain level as defined by the state government and union government to get this benefit so these are some important things and important facts especially this criteria is very important is that clear shall we move on and next topic is trio wins chemistry nobel for quantum dots so these three persons they won this 2023 chem, uh, chemistry regarding nobel prize in this study of quantum dots so here you have to focus on what is quantum dots and what are the applications so here 2023 nobel prize in chemistry has been awarded to alexei ekimo louis bruce and monangi bawendi okay so they worked on this quantum dots so these quantum dots are very small crystals and they are very peculiar they are having very peculiar properties so that we can use them in the different fields from new age led screens to quantum computers so in all these areas we can use them because they are very very tiny and they are having a lot of applications so if you talk about details so what are these quantum dots so quantum dots are nothing but they are bringing the greatest benefit to the human kind so they had been explore their potential here so this is the thing which said by royal swedish academy of sciences so researchers they believe that in future this quantum dots they can contribute to flexible electronics and even minuscule sensors and slimmer social cells and as well as uh, it will be also helpful in quantum communication so especially they are having the flexible electronics and they are having the minuscule sensors and they are having the a uh, similar cells that can be used in the solar cells so because of this yes we can use this uh, quantum dots in a lot of applications so quantum dot they exhibit the specific optoelectric prop electronic properties so why they are having this types of applications because they can have they can have the capability to go for optoelectronic properties and they can be used for fluorescence imaging as well so they can be used for this fluorescence imaging and this quantum dots are injected in the body when encounters a cancer cell it attaches to it so that we can use this uh, quantum dots in anti cancer therapy as well and when you shine a light of certain frequency it lights up and doctors can exactly target these cells so whenever we are injecting this uh, uh, quantum dots into our body so whenever it is coming in contact with this cancer cell so what happen now this quantum dots they will be shining so that doctors can easily identify where it is exactly located and next one is what are the applications the first and the foremost thing here is we can use this quantum dots in solar cells so with its opto electronic property a q dot is quantum dots they are used in solar cells with high efficiency so whenever we are using this quantum dots then that will also improve the efficiency and this one is bio sensors here this quantum dot sensors they can detect the presence of pathogens in food water and even that will helps to monitor the level of pollutants in this environment so in this we also it can be used as a bio sensor and this one is bio medical imaging so this quantum dot they can revolutionize the fluorescence imaging and even mri ct scans etc so that we can go for scans with high sensitivity and next one is it also used in this photonics photonics is nothing but this quantum dots are best suited for this photonics based computing and they can have they can be have the capability to achieve high speeds as well so these are some important facts or applications regarding this quantum dots and next topic is about lakshadweep mp disqualified for second time so here we are going to talk about this 
एम पी डिसक्वालिफिकेशन सो आज आई सेड यू हैव टू सी कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन प्रोविजन और एनी अदर लॉ विच टॉक्स अबाउट दिस एम पी डिसक्वालिफिकेशन दैट यू हैव टू फोकस एंड इफ यू सी कॉन्टेक्स इट से लेस दैन ट्वेंटी फोर हार्स आफ्टर केरला हाई कोर्ट डिक्लाइन द प्ली ऑफ लक्ष्मीप एम पी दैट इज नेम ऑफ दैट एम पी इज मोहम्मद फैजल सो इन आर एटम टू मर्डर केस सो ही वॉज डिसक्वालिफाइड फ्रॉम पार्लियामेंट सो दिस पर्सन हैड बीन डिसक्वालिफाइड फ्रॉम पार्लियामेंट ऑन द ग्राउंड्स ऑफ क्रिमिनल चार्जेस सो इफ यू सी डिटेल्स इफ यू सी दिस कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन प्रोविजन सो दिस कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन प्रोविजन लाइक आर्टिकल वन और टू which talks about the disqualification and next one is not only this even this act which specifies that person shall be disqualified for contesting elections or being member of parliament under the certain conditions so what are they if he is holding any office of profit or if he is of unsound mind and if he stands so declared by a court and if he is undischarged insolvent and if he is not a citizen of india or has voluntarily acquired the citizenship of india they will be not eligible and even even if he is so disqualified under any law made by the parliament then he is also not eligible and article 102 also authorizes parliament to make laws determining the conditions of disqualifications so actually what are the some important things that you have to remember so here he should not have sound mind he should not be having any office of profit he should not be undischarged insolvent and should not a citizen of an india so if he is not a citizen of india he is not going to get this mp post and or else if he if he is even voluntarily acquiring this indian citizenship also he is not acceptable and if he is so disqualified under any law which is made by parliament Article one or two deals, okay, also authorizes Parliament to make the law determining the conditions of disqualifications. And next topic is the Representation of Peoples Act of nineteen fifty one. So here under this act also it is talking about disqualification. So first one is disqualification on imprisonment. So here this act that is R P A nineteen fifty one says that a person will be disqualified if convicted. and sentenced to imprisonment for 2 years or more so if there is less than 2 years means he can be the member but if it is more than 2 years okay or more then he will be not allowed to allowed to have this mp post he will be disqualified and next one is a person is disqualified for a period of imprisonment of uh, and a further 6 years of imprisonment is seen and next one is exemption for sitting members so there is exemption for the sitting members so they have been provided a period of 3 months from the date of conviction to appeal the disqualification will not be applicable until under until this appeal is decided that means they will be having some special privileges so under this privileges so even there is no criminal law proceedings will be happen on this members of this parliament Okay, so in this way you have to even know about this parliamentary privileges. So it is also your homework, students. And now let us see next topic. It is about retribution for the south and accolade for the north. So this article is at most important. So now let us try to see this topic, and I will try my level best to make you understand this. So if you see here in our country. we have northern part and we have this southern part correct we have northern part and southern part so southern states they should be recognized and rewarded for their efforts to control population growth rather than being penalized for their success so actually what happens so here the states they need to get funds from the center so now what happens center is giving more money for this uh, north than compared to that of state so that we can say there is discrimination that can be shown here so southern states they should be recognized and rewarded for their efforts to control this population growth but what happened so there is a penalization for the states for this uh, 
southern states where the success is happening now so this is one cause of concern and the national delimitation exercise has however raised concerns about unequal representation of states in lok sabha and actually this article also says that there is unequal representation in lok sabha so whenever there is unequal representation we can go for conducting of delimitation okay so whenever you are going for delimitation we can set this new constituencies so that we can ensure the equal members of population are there in each and every constituency so what is the need of this delimitation so the need here is whenever we want to provide equal representation to all segments of population yes we need this delimitation and fair division of geographical areas so that one political party doesn't have an advantage over the another political party because one vote is equal to one value so that here government need to be taken care of uh, care of not leaving anyone behind and if you see the constitutional provisions here we have article 82 article 82 which says that the parliament enacts a delimitation act after every census so after every census we are going to come up with this delimitation of boundaries so why because we will be getting data so we will be getting data of the newly born population children and even old age and as well as the people who are dead etc and next one is under article 170 states they also get divided into territorial constituencies as per delimitation act after every census okay and next one is how this uh, delimitation is being unfair to the southern states so first one is in development so if you are comparing with the development of north and south southern states are more developed so economic situation of the southern states has improved dramatically since the turn of 21st century and prior to 1990s southern states they were outperforming and southern states in terms of income and poverty levels but these southern steps uh, states they took lot of steps to overcome this problem and this one is southern states they have seen a significant increase in their economic performance in recent years and even they led to significant reduction of poverty and also increasing of income levels and even they address this problem of hunger so this is one important point and apart from this the economic around economic turn around has a significant impact on the region and we are focusing on driving of the growth and development in the southern states and next one is educational and as well as health outcomes so previous annual status of education reports that is acer data which said that southern regions are performing better compared to those of this northern regions per se in the case of uh, school enrollment or okay, in the in the field of attendance etc yes southern states are performing very good compared to those of this northern states and further a high portion of graduates in southern states indicates that yes they are focusing on their future and they are focusing on their increasing of their skills and for example here 2020 2011 so only 5 percentage of this uttar uttar pradesh population was graduated so in tamil nadu nearly 8 percentage of its population were graduated so you can see how much difference is there between this northern states and southern states and next one is even the governance also here india is not awarded so in this governance structure if the educational and as well as health outcomes are better in the southern states so they also implies that the ability to discern and the quality of decision making must be significantly better there that means whenever there is high literacy rate whenever there is access to this healthcare system okay what happens now decision making will be very much easier for you okay and next one here is the expectations for the better public services and high civic activities in the southern state is seen and because of this is it mainly suggests that the electorate there is more likely to vote for better governance compared to the top this not so in this way here because of all these reasons southern states are performing well compared to the top this northern states so here what happened these south southern states they are saying that so instead of getting uh, and uh, getting like uh, awards so we are getting rewards here so this is not fair so this is the thing which mainly said by the southern states 
and i want to show one thing now that is about this mains answer writing course so the new batch of this mains answer writing course is going to be started on 9th october 2023 so this course is very very beneficial believe me because the class will be taken by me so that i can clear your doubts personally and here we are covering entire your gs which includes gs1 gs2 and gs3 and as well as gs4 so on weekdays from monday to saturday you will be getting questions from this uh, gs but on sunday you will be having essay or case study practice and for all the questions we are going to give you the moral answer and we are also providing a detailed evaluation of your answers also so in that evaluation we are going to give you detailed feedback like what you wrote what can be written so whether you addressed uh, to the demand of question or not so whether you wrote unnecessary things or not and how you are presenting your answer like you drawn the map or you have drawn this uh, so and so flow chart etc that will be seen so because of this here you can improve your answer writing skills answer writing skills are very very important and even on every sunday we will be having doubt clearing session as well so try to join this course and the course cost is uh, 8200 rupees and if you can't pay this amount in one go you can pay in two installments and you can visit this uh, website that is satoshisacademy.com for the enrollment process or else you can call me on this number directly 8074765513 so that i can assist you okay so this is the number you can make a note and now let us go back to our hindu so next page here is new defense indigenization list has futuristic weapon sent systems so actually you have, we came up with this uh, our defense indigenization list that means so which are the things that we have to manufacture in india so that it will be helpful for promoting of atmanirbhar bharat okay atmanirbhar bharat or self sufficient india in this defense sector okay so this is the thing that you have to remember and if you move on there is nothing much important article in this world page and business page you can see the articles so first one is green shipping plan green shipping plan to position maritime sector as eco friendly so we have came up with this a national action plan for green shipping so we are promoting this eco friendly practices and we are focusing on incentives for low emission ships so because of this it will helpful for improving of india's position in india's maritime sector as environmentally responsible actually if you are talking about this maritime sector of india so india's maritime sector will play a very important role in achieving dollar 20 trillion economy by 2047 and with 9 percentage of projected growth rate as well so because of this yes this type of initiatives will be very much helpful so that we can increase our uh, port capacity so we can move towards ecological sustainability and we can also enhance tourism and we can also focus on ship building and as well as recycling leadership as well so these are some important things that are given in this article and next topic is eurozone economy likely shrank in quarter 3 amid slide in demand so not only in this countries but in every country we are facing the problem that is decreasing of demand so because of this decreasing of demand automatically there will be increase of prices of the goods and services right so here eurozone economy probably shrank last quarter so this is the thing which mainly said by one survey so survey which showed that demand fell in september month at a very fast pace in almost 3 years okay so this is the thing which mainly said by this article and you have to see which are the countries comes under this eurozone actually the countries which are using this euro as money that comes under this eurozone and next topic here is india can be a 1 trillion global auto hub by 2025 So India has a potential to become a global auto hub by 2035 and automotive industry could grow to size around 
trillion dollar why why what is the reasons the reason here is the one is there will be increasing of exports i will write here so because of increasing of exports and because of increasing of technology and because of increasing of innovation etc okay so this is the thing that mainly said here and you have to see what will be the advantages of this innovation or uh, what are the advantages of this global auto hub okay so these are the things that you have to remember from this article so these are the important articles that appear in our today's hindu newspaper now i want to show something interesting that is so this is our telegram channel that is rathor's is classes so whenever we are posting the video you will be getting updates and even the notes of this class will be posted after once class is done so that you can join this telegram channel okay so the link of this telegram channel is given in the description box and this is our rathor's is academy youtube channel so you have to subscribe to this channel so that whenever we are posting the videos you will be getting updates and as well as we are providing a lot of informative videos regarding mains how to write a mains answer and we are also providing the geography classes and as well as you will be getting complete polity lakshmi kant series here so you can go to the playlist section and you can watch these videos and this is our rathor's is academy website so whenever you are visiting our website for the first time you have to do login or register and you have to click on do not have account and you can fill all these details and you can register so after registering again it will be redirected to this login page so here again you have to give your mail id and password and you can log in now and here in this courses you can click here we have this course list and these are the wide range of courses that we are offering in this rathod science academy and if you are facing problem with single subject you can take the single module also so if you want to watch the demo videos you can click on play course so that you can watch three demo videos without paying a single penny and that will be of free of cost so after watching that if you like that then only you can go for joining the course and here we have this mains answering course okay so you can join the course here and we are also going to come up with this business booster course soon and the plan is getting ready so once the plan is getting ready so we are going to start that also so in that prelims booster course we will be having live classes so we will be focusing on current affairs of last one year and we will be having prelims test series daily prelims practice questions everything so you can join that so that updates will be coming up soon so whenever you are starting that before one week so we will be giving you the uh, information so that you can join that course and apart from that we are also having this foundation course for 2024 and 2025 so here in this foundation course we are focusing on your entire gs and the each and every topic in your syllabus is discussed from basic to advanced level and here this course which also includes your prelims test series prelims booster course so mains answer writing course and as well as mains test series everything will be there so the cost of this course here is 45000 okay and the validity is 2 years i will includes both recorded and as well as live classes okay so try to join this so these are the important articles and this is the important information that i want to give you so by this i am concluding so if you really like this video please hit the like button and try to share this video with your friends as well and don't forget to subscribe to this rathor's high academy thank you so much